Good morning, everyone. So today I will I will be talking about evaluation of a novel wearable device that we designed for the measurement of sunlight in children. So we know that childhood myopia is a refractive error that has increased in prevalence recently, uh, and we are almost expecting 50% by the year 2050. Uh, that's a staggering five billion people, and. Of course, there's a huge cost that is involved to myopia management, almost $7,000 in Australia and almost $4,000 in China just for the medicine part alone. And we also have a very simple solution to the disease and that's through sunlight exposure. So the purpose of our study is to find out whether there, how well we can utilize sunlight or what are the factors in sunlight that can pro uh, provide protection towards the onset and progression of myopia. Now, what we don't know about sunlight is that what is it in sunlight that actually protects? We don't know if it is the... Uh, uh, the UV, the infrared or the visible part or whether it is the physical activity, whether it is the heart rate or the ambient temperature. So this device uh, was designed to do that. It has an ambient light sensor on the top uh, along with uh, heart rate sensors and other uh, I will be talking about. So the light data was programmed to be captured once every minute between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. and stored uh, and the validation of the measurements by was done by placing the device in sunlight alongside a standard luxometer. So the ambient light sensor uh, gets to measure the light in intensity, that is the visible light spectrum, the ultraviolet and the infrared. So what is the data we can harvest? Like I said, the illuminance levels through LUX uh, using uh, the ambient light sensor, the UV exposure, the infrared exposure, the physical activity through an accelerometer, heart rate, ambient temperature and finally the overall outdoors time in minutes. Now putting all of these parameters together, the overall outdoors time can be calculated. Now it works through the sensor which receives the data from the sun and then converts the raw value into readable data and stores it in the device. The device can then be synced to the mobile phone application every hour 60 measurements. That means one measurement every minute is recorded. So the mobile phone application looks like this. So this is how the user interface looks and every date wherever you click you can get a 24 hour plotted graph of how and when exactly the child was outdoors and how much of sunlight uh, he was exposed to. And we can also track the steps and also set goals for how much steps and how much sunlight exposure you want the child to have. Now eight devices so, uh, were then tested in four different settings, one week in outdoor direct sunlight, one week in outdoor shade, one week indoor near a window and one week under artificial illumination. Now hourly readings from these eight devices were analyzed, averaged and they were plotted on a 24 hour graph. So the definition of outdoor time usually uh, is less than 1000 lux, so like outdoor is more than 1000 lux, indoor is less than 1000 lux. But when we see in the results, we have a little bit of a bias. So uh, sometimes indoor readings were less than 1000, uh, more than 1000 and outdoor readings were less than 1000. So we put that or we decided to go more real time and put all the data that we collected into uh, machine learning. Uh, uh, and then we tested it using the Python software, 60% in training and 40% in testing. And the difference between indoor and outdoor uh, we measured using real-time data. So this is right now the uh, the validation results. We have the uh, standard luxometer against the uh, device and then we saw we put it on a correlation chart and we found a correlation coefficient of 0 0.786. Uh, then we what we did with the data that we collected from the four settings, we plotted it on a 24 hour graph and you can see each hour shows one average value. That value basically, for example, if you take the uh, 2 to 3 p.m., which is a 3,764, it is a uh, from eight devices for seven days. So it's roughly an average of 3,360 data points. Uh, when it comes to the uh, actual readings, the visible light was the brightest. You can see that uh, in the bright sunlight, it was 30,000 lux. The minimum was 10.8 uh, lux on this side. Uh, the ultraviolet followed the same pattern. It was more reliable than lux as a value of internal to external. And infrared light also followed the same uh, parameter same pattern so we then went ahead and did machine learning and we found excellent reliability between indoors and outdoors when we tested the data with a good accuracy of 67 percentage so now the device is equipped with machine learning to tell us exactly whether the child is indoor or outdoor based on real-time data so this is again just the results i've put it out so to conclude, this prototype provides reliable measurements of sunlight spectrum exposure to the wearer. It is based on real-time machine learning derived thresholds for indoor and outdoor. Uh, for the clinician, it is very good to customize myopia control. For the researcher, it is very good as a research tool to find out what it is in sunlight 
uh, and also for the parent it is a very effective tool to monitor and promote outdoor time in their children and because of the low cost of manufacturing the device may be affordable when it comes into commercial use thank you geographically where was it conducted sir it was conducted in chennai sir which is in south india will it differ in different tropical countries and yes sir where they don't have sunlight definitely sir actually we are in the tropical belt so we are also trying and uh, testing it in other parts like in the temperate climates to see whether there is a difference in this uh, in the way the parameters are measured so uh, as you say there is a chance that the measurements may differ in different regions of the country as well as the world so uh, as of now we have tested it in uh, south india sir can cloudy atmosphere mask the outdoor time yes sir yes sir cloudy temperatures especially in the twilight time of the day also sir we are finding that in machine learning we are not able to exactly define if it is indoors and outdoors but again what we did realize that more than the definition of what is indoors outdoors a cumulative exposure to sunlight value is what we are now looking at because that is what is more important for the child so if it is cloudy the child is anyway not going to get sunlight so it doesn't matter whether the child is indoor or outdoor so we are now looking at cumulative sunlight exposure as a way of measuring the uh, exposure to the child okay. he is asking to conclude but one more paper is required yes. excuse me i'm sorry madam you are saying to conclude but one more paper is left so four more minutes because it is injustice to the presenter who is the last one okay thank you